Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to be installing OpenWRT on a Linksys EA6350 version 3. So here it is in front of me, still sealed in its box. Let's give it a go. There it is then. This thing has a quad-core ARM chip. It's a Qualcomm Athros IPQ4018 at 710 MHz, based on the ARM Cortex-A7 architecture. You've got 128 MB of NAND flash and 256 megabytes of RAM. This thing is wireless AC. So let's look at the ports on the back. Nothing exciting, it's always the same. One port here and four gigabit LAN ports. USB 3.0 port, a reset pinhole switch, the WPS button, which nobody ever uses, the 12 volt power with a little on-off switch, no mounting holes on the back, and the antennas are also non-removable but they do rotate like so. Pro tip, if your wireless devices are on this side of your router, you're supposed to arrange your antennas one up like that and one across like that. All right, let's get on with it. So I've just jumped onto downloads.openwrt.org. We've gone to releases, 18.06.4. Targets is the IPQ40XX, and then I clicked generic. Now I thought that the Linksys EA6350 version 3 would be in here. I'm sure I've seen it there before, but perhaps the OpenWRT build bots are busy building. So instead, let's go to the 19.07 snapshot. So we'll click targets and that is the IPQ40XX. We're going to go for generic. And yes, there it is. So here are the EA6350. So we want the factory.bin. I'm going to save that, 6.8 megabytes. So I've just put the router on top of my PC. PC is directly plugged into LAN port 1. Power cable's obviously in. Let's give that a power on. The light should come on at the back. That's a good sign. And just for a size comparison, here's the E1200 which is a little baby in comparison. Right, so we've got our private window open. Just browse to 192.168.1.1, which is the default IP. Links your smart Wi-Fi setup. I don't really want to contribute to any of this stuff, but I have read the license terms. You saw me. Are you kidding me? Yes, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> I know it's not connected. <laughs> oh my God, you really have to press you really cannot do it without connecting the one port. This is crazy. All right then, one moment. Just plugged my router into that one port. Almost there. Choose automatic updates. Yeah, let's, let's choose automatic updates, why not? Update my router automatically. I mean, this is a long time to wait <laughs> just to plug in a router. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed automatic updates. <laughs> and this video would have been quicker. There was literally no need to update the router. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I can see the lights flashing on the back. So it looks like it's actually rebooting now. And it's just flashing updated firmware. This might be one of those times where you upgrade the firmware and then you can no longer flash third party firmware and you have to roll back the firmware. So that will be interesting at least. I mean, saying almost there on the screen is a bit, it's a bit cheeky really, isn't it? It's not almost there. All right, the green light's gone solid. So any moment now, let's see how good this software really is. Look at that, we're in the smart Wi-Fi setup. So these don't really matter because I'm gonna be changing them anyway. So let's just go next. You must also change the wireless network name. For real. Gotta say, I've kind of lost my excitement now. <laughs> We've got the classic almost there again. Okay, let's give it a password. You saw it. Look at this all in plain text. This is brilliant. I love it. No, 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 no account. All right, this is what your new Linksys EA6350 version 3 router looks like when you power it on and you press update like I did. We're going to go to... Let's go over to administration. Nope. Okay, it was on the basic page <laughs> right in front of me. 
So this is the version we're running just for reference to see if it works or not. So let's choose a file. There it is, the 1907 snapshot. And I'm going to press start and probably give it a fast forward. Yes. So the firmware looks to have flashed. Let's just open a new private window. 192.168.1.1. There we go, open WRT without a password. And that is how to flash. Your Lynx is EA6350 version 3. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully the Lynx's smart stuff didn't get in the way too much there. I'll see you in the next video.